The following mole's question is about balancing equations and it's a simple question. What the question states is that there's a self-igniting flare and it contains Mg3P2. So you have uh, Mg3P2, uh, it's a uh, flare and it's reacting with water. So it's reacting with water and produces, it produces, ends up producing diphosphane, which, which is P2H4. So that's also given, uh, which is spontaneously flammable in air. So nothing else is given. So I'm going to first figure out uh, which of the equations are correct. And the question states which equation that includes the formation of diphosphane is balanced. So uh, each of the equation has Mg3P2. Each In each equation, it's reacting with water. And in each equation, P2H4 is being produced. And we don't know what the rest of the products are, whether it's magnesium hydroxide or whether it's hydrogen or whether it's uh, phosphine. So we're not sure what the products are. And that information is not provided in the question. So what I would just look for is, uh, because the question is talking about which of the equation is balanced. So I'm just going to figure out which of the equations are balanced first. So let's start with the first equation. In the first equation, if you look at uh, magnesium, that's already balanced. P, the two P's, two P's, that's already balanced. Uh, 12 hydrogens over here. It's because you have six water molecules. So this is two hydrogens. And there are three molecules, so that's also six hydrogens over here. Plus there are four hydrogens. So hydrogen over here is not balanced. So we can we can write that. So H is not balanced in this first reaction. Let's pick second reaction. Three magnesiums, three magnesiums, two phosphorus, two phosphoruses. So that's balanced. There are 12 hydrogens over here, so that's uh, two hydrogens over here, three molecules, so that's six hydrogens, plus four, that's 10, plus two, that's 12 hydrogens. Uh, there are six oxygens, and there are two oxygens, but the three molecules, so six oxygens. So this equation looks perfectly balanced, so this uh, would probably be the correct option, but we have to negate the rest of the options because we're not sure what the other products are, so... So let's uh, see what's unbalanced in option C. So if you count the hydrogens, so there are a total of 12 hydrogens. Over here, the 2 times 6, that's uh, 12 hydrogens. There are 24 hydrogens on the left-hand side. So there are 12 hydrogens plus 4, that's 16 hydrogens. And 16 plus 6, that's 22 hydrogens. So again, your hydrogens are not balanced. So let's write that again. So hydrogen is not balanced. And let's uh, look at the fourth option. Again, you have 24 hydrogens over here. So over here you have two times six, that's 12. Four times three, 12. So that's uh, balanced, 24 hydrogens over here in my products and 24 hydrogens in my reactants. Uh, there are 12 oxygens, so there are two times six. So that's also uh that's also uh, a total of 12 oxygens that's also going to give me 12 oxygens and then i'm left with the uh, phosphorus that's uh two phosphoruses two molecules so that's four phosphoruses two molecules three uh, sorry two phosphorus but three molecules so that's a total of six phosphorus phosphorus so in the fourth option option number d p is not balanced so in each one of the equations some of the elements are not balanced the others look balanced, but in option B, everything appears to be balanced. So that's the only balanced equation in the four sets of equations.